Hey everybody, in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to use the 360 player platform as a player. Now, first things first, it's important to know how to get signed up and into the platform. So there's two ways you can do this. Either you can go on your mobile or tablet and go to the App Store or simply log on to app.360player.com. Then you can click Create Account right here to get started. Once you're here, simply enter in your own details, enter in your language, your country of residence, and your birth date, and hit create account. And here we go. For the first step, simply select I am a player, okay? And then you'll be asked to enter in a group code. Now, if there's already a coach or administrator in the platform, they can invite you by finding the group code in their team settings from the app that they are already in. If a group has not been created yet for you, you can talk to us at 360 Player and we can get that set up for you. Now, keep in mind that 360 Player is a team app and currently players cannot use this app on their own. So be sure to talk to your coach or club administrator to get the proper code. The code for our demo team for this tutorial is PPZHPP. Then it's time to choose a profile picture. Simply click here and then go ahead and add a profile pic. Boom. You can resize the image here and then hit upload. Now the setup is complete. So simply click on let's go. And now that your account has been created, the first thing that you'll be prompted to do as a player is to actually go in and assess your own skills. So you can see right here, assessment by assessing your skills, 360 player can match you with your best positions and give you individual training priority. Based on your assessments, 360 player will match you with all the positions on the field and your best position will be highlighted with the star. You will get individual training priority based on the position you choose. You can find exercises in your profile. So by taking this assessment, you'll be able to get plenty of good training tips and suggestions. So let's go through and I'll just fill this in based on from when I was a player, I used to play center midfield, okay? So let's go ahead and click next. Choose which foot you are, right footed here and you can adjust your skills here. So you can adjust all of the skills in the category at once. See, we've got attacking first, and then you can go through and fine tune in here. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then pace. Okay, defending. You can go through and of course adjust tackling, defending, marking, all of these things. Vision. Passing. Okay, you can fine tune it and notice how if you change these numbers down here, the number at the top will change as well. Okay, go through and fine tune all of that. Technique. Let's say like so. Heading. Okay, actually I was not very good at heading. Let's keep that kind of low. And now keep in mind that all of these skills are based on a scale of one to 10 and 10 is the best in the entire age group. So after you finish that assessment, it's gonna go and find your optimal position. And actually my best position based on that assessment was center mid. And that is the position that I actually chose. And now here, you can see a map of all of the skills after you enter in your assessment. All of the green positions are good positions for you and the red positions are not so good. And these position profiles are based on a statistical analysis of 15,000 professional players so that we've built the optimal player profile at every position on the field. And so based on these player profiles, center mid would be the best position for me. Okay, and depending on where you're playing and how you assess yourself, you're gonna get different positions based on how that goes. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that we've got individual training priority. So based on how I did, remember how I said I was not very good at heading? Well, based on how I scored at heading, heading is my number one training priority. And then there's a lot of other things to work on here and you can go through the list. If I were to change my position to another position, my training priority would then change. So if let's say I wanted to play left back, 
Well, heading and stamina are still Im important, but then there's also sprint speed, pace, and tackling would also be very important at that left back position. So wherever you are on the field, let's say striker, okay, now you can see finishing jumped up to number two, and finishing would be something that's very important to work on. If I wanna get exercises for any of these training priority things, you can click on these, and then you get drills and exercises that you can actually practice and work on to improve that specific skill. Okay, so now that we're done with the assessment, let's go to the home and look at the player dashboard. At this home dashboard, you can see a quick overview of team events, most recent games, videos that your coaches have added for video analytics, and which you can also do as a player, and then you can see some statistics and suggested exercises for you here. On the right hand side, you can see the team wall where you can either post on the wall or your teammates or coaches can post on the wall and everybody on the team can communicate at once. All right, if you'd like to post on the wall, you can always click here and do new post and then simply write a wall post and click save post and your post will go on the wall, okay? You can also create a new wall post from this create button up here in the top right hand corner. If you click create and then click new post, that will bring up the same thing. And keep in mind, you can also copy and paste links to YouTube videos or say something nice to your team. For example, nice job in the game, everyone. Everyone. Okay, save post. And this was actually a sticky post, so that's always gonna stay right at the top, but then you can see that this post we just posted, everybody can see it on your team. They can even go in and like and comment on your post here. If you wanna communicate with people in your team one-on-one, -on -one, you've also got this chat feature. From here, you can start a new chat with an individual. Simply click here and then select the person that you want to chat with. Okay, let's say we wanna message our teammate, Jesse. Very, very easy. Simply click on him and write him a message just like any other messaging software. Right here underneath chat, we have me, which is our player profile. And this is a little bit of what we went over earlier after we took our assessment. You can see again, some of your training priorities and your strengths. You can see your skill graph and the ideal statistical profile at your position mapped out. Okay, you can see your training, assessments, performance reviews, statistics, video analytics, everything. It's the hub of your own player profile. And as you go throughout a season or, or use the platform for a longer period of time, then you'll get lots of data and information when you do performance reviews of yourself or maybe your coach goes in and leaves performance reviews for you or you have statistics over the course of the season or video highlights. You can access all of those things right from me, right from your player profile. Underneath me, we have team. And here you can see all of your teammates you can go ahead and see what their optimal positions are, their physical strain, how hard they've been working and all of these sorts of things. You can even click on your teammates and go and look at their player profiles. Or if you wanna send a message to somebody, you can also do that from the team menu. Underneath team, we have statistics. Here you can see statistics for your whole team summarized from the season from your last match or other matches that go by, you can see on a match to match basis, and then you can see the physical strain of you and your teammates underneath. So if you go right here, view match statistics, you can see you've played three games, your team has played three games, and you've actually won all three because these are green. If you lose, these would show up as red. And then you've also got statistics like scoring leaders, goals, assists, and points, which is just accumulation of both of them. And then you've got goal timeline to see when during a match your team is most likely to score or concede a goal. Now this is all information that your coaches will have access to on their accounts, but as a player, it can be really interesting to look at as well. Underneath statistics, we have the calendar. Here you can see all of your events from meetings, practices, and matches. You can adjust the view of the calendar for a daily view, weekly view, month, or year, but I usually like monthly view the best. You can always click on individual events in the calendar and then get more information on those events. So here was a game that took place at Eastside Stadium at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, March 24th. You can click on view statistics to see the actual statistics of the game. And you can also access that if you click on summary here. And you can see information like who scored the goals, the number of shots your team had, etc., etc. 
Overall, the calendar is a great way to make sure that you're always on the same page with your coach and your teammates. And if there's an important event or update on the calendar, your coach can also send you notifications so that you're always in the know of what's going on. Last but not least for players, we have video analytics. Video analytics can be a lot of fun. And one of the great things about 360 player is that it's not only for coaches, players can actually get in on the video analytics as well. So here's some match footage from a recent match that is in the calendar. And if you go ahead and click on this, it will take you right into the video analytics tool. Here you can play through the video. And if you see something that you like or wanna save for later, then you can use this red button to create a clip. So let's say you're on the ball right here. You press the record button. And then when you want to stop recording, press stop. You can name the clip. Okay, give it a description if you want. And if you only want to see this clip yourself, you can click private. If you want your coaches and teammates to see it, then you can leave it public and then simply press save. And now you can always navigate back to this clip very, very easily. So wherever you are in the video, if you want to see that clip that you just created, you can either click on it here or click here and it'll take you right to where you made that clip in the video. If you only wanna watch clips that have been created by you or your coach or your teammates, you can go ahead and press play clips and then the video will jump from clip to clip rather than playing the entire video from start to finish. You also have the option to filter if you only wanna play the clips that you are tagged in. Now, before we wrap this video up, there's a few last things that we'd like to talk about in this video that you can actually create as a player. If you go over to the create button, you can see we've already talked about a few of these things. We've already talked about how to do a wall post, for example, and then this is where you can go in and do a new assessment. But if you've already logged into the platform, you already took that first assessment that you did when you logged in. So posts and assessments are already taken care of here, but there's also this training and performance review. So if you go to training, this is gonna be where you can actually log training and activities that you've done as a player. So go ahead and click on training, and it's very, very easy. You can go ahead and click on the type of training that you did, team training, individual training, match, or other activity. Let's go ahead and say you played tennis with your dad, for example, and you wanna record that. You click on other activity, and then press, what did you do? Okay. Then you can go in and record the physical strain. How difficult was this activity? You can make it very high, very easy, very low, or somewhere in the middle. Then you go ahead and add when you did this, and then when you click register training, this will actually go into your activity log so that coaches can see exactly how hard you've been working and what your current level of physical strain is. If you've done too many activities in a row, your physical strain could get into this red area, and that basically just means to be careful so that you don't get injured. Last but not least, we have the performance review. So if we go to the create button again, but this time click on performance review, that will take us to our profile. You have the option of creating a new blank review. So if you wanna reflect on how you did in a match or a practice, you could go ahead and click here and create a blank review. Or sometimes maybe your coach would wanna ask you questions and they can actually set a template for you to fill out. If you wanna fill out the questions or template that your coach asked, click on use template. So here the coach already had a template put in. How do you think you did in the game? Write down three things you did well and three things you want to improve. You simply type in your answer here press save and your performance review is updated. So that's a quick summary of the 360 player platform for players. If you're a player and you have any questions about how it works, you can always ask your coach or you can contact us at 360 player and we'd be happy to help you. But that's gonna do it for this tutorial. So we will see you in another video.